Hello, welcome to this Unreal tutorial. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to do image tracking on the Unreal Lite. First, I'm gonna demonstrate it in the emulator just so everyone gets a good understanding of what image tracking is. So you have a picture, an image that's trained in the database where when you see it, it'll display whatever you want it to be. In this case, it's gonna be a cube. So once I run it, it's gonna look something like this. When I see the image, there's the cube. When I look away, the cube disappears. When I look back, there it is again. And if the image moves around, the cube will move with it. So that's gonna be the goal of today's tutorial. All right, now here we have a sample scene with nothing in it. Uh, we could go ahead and take the main camera out. Let's go into NRSDK, prefabs, uh, move the camera rig, the input inside, and then we need a empty, which is going to be our controller tracking image example controller. So this script is basically, it's the controller for image tracking and there's your prefab tracking image visualizer prefab this is for whatever you want to display and then here's a overlay we don't really need the overlay we could just kind of like feel it out yourself the overlay is meant to like oh yeah you have your image here uh, make sure you fit it in the, th the thing yeah we don't really need that so we'll take it out we could just comment that out comment this out and then yeah all we need is the public tracking image visualizer prefab now we could go ahead and minimize that let's also rename this to tracking controller and now we want to create our prefab for whatever we want to display when we do see uh, one of the trained images so create empty Uh, let's call it the visualizer Now we want to create a cube inside it so 3d object cube we could just drag that in now This is going to need a script We have to call it whatever this is so it's got to be a tracking image example controller I mean not not controller uh, prefab Tracking image visualizer this is the script we need uh, but the built-in one has to display a bunch of frames and access to it but we could go ahead and start from scratch just so everybody gets a good understanding of what we're doing Also, we need to be using NR kernel. We don't need start. We just need this. Okay, so first, if our image is, oh, yeah, I have to declare everything. Public NRT, oh, NR trackable image. It's right over here, image. And then we need our game object. So if the image is null, we want to set our cube to false. So if image equal equal null, cube dot set active false. And then return because we don't want to keep going. But if it is not null, uh, we have to set it set active true. So var, oh yeah, also the NR trackable image has a bunch of functions inside, but the one we really need is get centered position. 
So var center equals image dot get center position. And then we're going to set our transform to the center. So it displays in the center of the trained image. Transform dot position equals cent center dot position. Transform dot rotation equals center dot rotation. And then we make our cube true. There you go. This is all we need. Go ahead and save that, minimize. Now take a look at our visualizer, a prefab. Go ahead and dra drag that down to your assets and open it up from there. And there's our cube. It's a little big. We could just scale that down though. But you can set this to anything. Uh, so instead of a cube, let's just do something fancy. Here I have, let's see, one second. I have a dolphin. I'm going to drag this in. I'm going to delete my cube. So there's my dolphin. It's fully animated too. So let's see what we got to do. We got to make him swim this way. And then also got to rotate him by 180 so he's not swimming upside down. I'm going to scale him down by 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and I'm also going to bring him up the y-axis by 0 0.2 as well, just so he's like swimming out of the image. Uh, let's see. Also, let's let's give him a texture. Where's the texture located? There it is. And there we go. There's a dolphin. And make sure you drag it into the game object for the script. Now go ahead and exit out of there. Now, now you have the prefab over here. You could delete it, but make sure you drag the prefab into the tracking image example controller so that it knows. Also, what images are tracked. How do we tell? We navigate over to here. Let me just show you. Uh, NRSDK demos tracking image images. So let's say, oh yeah, these these are the three that come with the SDK. But let's say I want to add a new one. So here's a picture of a painting that we have at the office. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just drag that in here. Now give it a second. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to delete the database, select all the images you want trained, right click, create NRSDK tracking image database. And now you got the database, you don't have to do anything with it because it's all written in the script. So now that we have this tracked, we got our dolphin. Okay, make sure you got the right build settings. Now you could install this however you like. Personally, I like to use the ADB bridge. So all you gotta do is first make sure you're connected, ADB devices. All right, we're good. So ADB install space. Go over to where you have it built. Here's my APK. Go ahead and just drag that into the console and hit enter. Give it a second. All right, successful. You could go ahead and unplug, get your Unreal Light plugged in, and yeah, I'm gonna show you in person. So, see you in a second. All right, what's up guys? I have the APK installed and launched. So, walk in front of this painting and let's see if it's running.
There is the dolphin. He's going to hang out right in front of the tracked image and he's going to stay there. That's all for this tutorial. This has been an intro to image tracking on the Unreal Lite. If you have any questions, join our Unreal communities on Slack and Reddit. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter for the latest updates. Build the world you've always imagined. Thank you.